Our last video covered inner VLAN routing setup on a switch, and now we're going to tie this all together with the actual router. I'm using PFSense. Um, this is actually a virtualized instance running on a uh, Dell R620 file server. It has a four port card. Um, two of the ports are 10 gig, two of the ports are 1 gig copper, uh, the 10 gig are SFP, and here we go. So we're going to go to interfaces. We have WAN and LAN. Let's go to the LAN interface to show you around here. And yours is very much going to be different. Um, PFSense, again, this is a product of a thousand checkboxes and fields. Um, it did take me a little bit to just kind of get through it and work through it and find out how they do the stuff that I'm already used to doing. So with that, um, we've got our LAN interface enabled. We've got an IP address on it. And then if we go over to our network switch, oops, helps if I get on the right row of keys. And show IP in brief. And if we look at my 1920 VLAN, this is my near side, so this is on my switch. This is on my router. And also if I go back over and I do show IP route, I do have a gateway of last resort or IP default gateway, which is dot one. Do a show run. We're going to go begin a default. Let's see if that shows us our output. And there we go. IP default gateway is right there. All right, so we're going to go show you the side that we need to concern ourselves with on the PF Sense box. We're going to go to system. We are going to go to routing. I added an additional gateway. There's a default gateway that if we're on a single LAN, single VLAN, that this would be the only gateway you need at stub. There's only one way out, and that would be the one. But we put in a different one called the ACMP, and look and behold, we have told the PFSense box that this is an available IP to send traffic to. So that's number one. Number two, we go to static routes. I've created a 10 route, and that 10 route goes over to here. I created a loopback32, which uh, is a host also with the route and I just did that for testing. I've also got a one network that also goes back here but I'm also going to add go 10.0.20.0 we do a 24-bit mask because all these are um, slash 24s and we're going to send all that back and we're going to save that. Now we're going to apply these changes we're going to do one more network. I just want to show you me adding this. Now I'm going to go to Firewall. We're going to go to NAT. We're going to go to Outbound. And the PFSense will auto-create our NAT pools. So it just created this. Now watch this. We're going to go ahead and go right back to System. We go back to Routing. Static. Add. 10.0.30.0 Save it. Oops, I don't want ACMP. Save it. Apply those changes. Go back to firewall. Go back to NAT. And you'll see that when we go to outbound, that we do have our new 30 network. Gotta do one more thing, and uh, this did catch me up a little bit, but we gotta go to firewall and rules. We're gonna go to land rules, and for example, I have a catch all land rule in here. I have it at a slash 16, so any 10.0.x.x rule this is going to allow. And this wasn't here before, I had to go and add it. If I wanted to be um, more granular with it, I would actually add in the slash 24 like you see on this 10. So this is something where we're going to go ahead and edit just so we can show you what it looks like. We allow everything to pass. We are coming from. We are going anywhere. 
and we save. And that's it. That, that's the rule that allows us. Um, also, our source would be 10 slash 16, like you just saw. So this is what the rule looks like. So we are coming from our local area. We are any IPv4, any protocol, where the network matches 10.0.x.x to any destination, and we have no net mass to worry about, and that will start working. That's going to start passing traffic for us. So it is those three things. If we go to routing again, we create a gateway that just tells the PFSense box again that we have a local gateway for traffic heading back in. We'll go ahead and edit that. Let's see what that looks like. Not much there, just interfaces land. Address family is IPv4. We give it a friendly name and we give it an address. We create our static routes. We point it all back towards our gateway. And then again, if we look at our switch, it also has a route. That's going to say send everything to dot one that we don't have a direct route for in our routing table. We firewall it, and that will build the rule out automatically. And we go to rules, and we just make sure that on our LAN side that we have a rule that's going to allow traffic outbound. And that's it. This should get you going with PFSense. Um, I'm not going to do the install portion that. Uh, there's a lot of tutorials out there on getting that. There's going to be some setup that you have to do in the um, command line on the shell, but it's all menu driven and it's really just going to be about setting what is your WAN and your LAN or your ISP and your internal interfaces. Um, if there's questions on that, I can always make a video. Just hopefully this will help everybody uh, start getting stuff set up. Thanks.